Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to stop by the dollar store and pick up a few items and do the dollar store makeup challenge. So the look that I'm wearing right now is not my finished product from this. This is just makeup that I wore to work today and wore to the gym today. So I wanted to make sure that just in case my makeup did look like shit at the end of this that I can at least look like semi-decent at the beginning of this. So if you guys are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I do post videos twice a week, so you don't want to miss out on those. So you guys are here for one reason and one reason only, and of course that is for the Dollar Store Makeup Challenge. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my makeup off, and I'm just going to use my Neutrogena Makeup Wipes. Also, my chin is like pimple central right now, so let's just be really, really friendly when we see all those breakouts, and hopefully this $1 foundation can cover it up. Alrighty, so now that my makeup is all off, I'm going to start off with this LA Colors Liquid Makeup, and it's in the color True Beige. I'm just going to use that as my foundation. Just, does this work? Ooh! Lordy, this foundation's like red. I don't know if this is like the right color or not, but they really didn't have but like two choices. So I'm just gonna go ahead. This is a joke. This is a joke. I'm gonna have to like pack this on and there's no concealer. <sighs> oh my God, my dog keeps farting and it literally smells like rotten eggs. So this is more of a close-up for you. As you can tell, you can still see like all of my redness that's on my chin. Definitely see those breakouts. My bags are obviously not covered up. So I'm gonna go in with a third layer. I feel like I'm gonna use this whole foundation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend in that third layer. I'm gonna try and focus it like underneath my eyes. Cause these bags are something serious. I don't know if you guys can tell, but look at that blotchiness. Like, I swear I put foundation there, and then, like, the second I rub it, it just, like, comes off. <sighs> this tutorial is already a fail. To set my powder, I'm going to go in with the Color Mates powder, pressed powder in Rose Beige. I'm just going to use my Morphe Y1 brush. This is so blotchy. I'm so ugly. I feel like the more foundation you put on, the more it rubs off. <laughs> Got a blender down my neck cause my face is orange. For eyeshadow I'm going to go in with the LA Colors eyeshadow nude palette and I believe it's in the color glamorous. Why do you have to take this? It's not like anyone wants to steal this shit and if they do it's a fucking dollar. Can we just please leave these in like 2009? I'm gonna go in with as my trans. Dude, these are all shimmers. F me up. Alright, the first shade I'm gonna go in with is this little, like, light chocolatey brown color. Right, I'm gonna go in with this purple shade right here. Let's hope this doesn't go on as tacky as I think it's about to look. Mm, yeah, it's really tacky. I feel like I'm in second grade trying to put on makeup. I will give this eyeshadow props though because usually even drugstore eyeshadows are not this pigmented. Like you literally put them on, they're like Poof. With this same brush, I'm gonna go in with this dark color right here on the outer corner just to try and deepen it up a little bit. I have no idea what I did right here, but this will not blend out. Like I am trying so hard and nothing's happening except I feel like it's coming all the way to my freaking temple. Like, what did I do? What did I do? Lord, I... For my lid, I'm gonna go in with this white and little light pink color right here. If I have one wish in the world, it'll be for two girls to sponsor me. Anyways, back to my lid color. And I'm going to go in with this dark shade right here that we used for the outer corner and go ahead and put that on my lower lash line just to kind of smoke it out on this candy, I mean this makeup. <laughs> I got other things on my mind. God, I wish that would blend out. I am so annoyed. I'm about to take my foundation brush and like, okay, that made it better. Cool, that's better. So now I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild, um, just 
pencil in black and put it on my lower lash line. Cool, cool. I look so ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the LA Colors bronzer and this is actually a really pretty bronzer color. I just don't know if it does anything and it's in the color bronze. Um, and again, can we take these back to 2009 and leave them there? Ooh, loudy. Please blend. <sighs> now for blush, I'm going with the LA Colors Pink Blush. Go figure. <laughs> take this shit right out of here. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. All right, that's going in the garbage. Like right now never touching that again all right now i'm gonna go in with the la colors liquid eyeliner and i actually have high hopes for this one because i use the nyc liquid liner and that one's only like two or three dollars so hopefully a one dollar eyeliner will do it what does the tip look like looks pretty good If I do say so myself, my eyeliner did turn out pretty good for a $1 eyeliner. I definitely made like one of the best wings I could ever possibly imagine making with a dollar eyeliner. And now y'all are about to laugh because I'm going in with this color right here and gonna attempt to do some type of something with my brows just to kind of like, I don't know, tame them, make them look a little normal. All right guys, so for lashes, I'm gonna go in with these wet and wild lashes that I found and I actually, I'm excited because I do use a couple Wet n Wild products and I actually felt these and they don't feel like fake, like super, super fake for a dollar. So let me go ahead and put them on and we shall see what happens. Now for mascara, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. Ugh. I'm going to go in with the LA Colors lipstick and this one's in the color Satin and I think it's just like a nude bronzy color. Or it's just pure gold. Alright guys, so this is a finished look that I came up with. So my final thoughts of this is that the eyelashes look way too fake. So as much as I hate the lashes, I feel like it makes this look because I feel like everything else just kind of sucked on my face as far as like the foundation and stuff. The bronzer was okay. I feel like I would still reuse it if I just wanted to like bronze myself up at the beach or something. Like just a quick little, I don't know, like a quick little warm bronze. Um, but the blush, I feel like I look like a clown and the shadows, they couldn't really blend that easy, but they are pretty pigmented. As far as like a dollar palette, it's still pretty pigmented. Um, the lips, I actually really like this color. Like it's a really pretty corally gold color. I wish I would have done more of like a gold color on my eyes to match it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Dollar Tree makeup challenge. If there's any other challenges or any other ideas if you guys have for videos, go ahead and comment them down below because I actually had a lot of fun creating this look and just kind of trying out these products. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!